Hey, it's Steve. It's May 2017. Time is 747. Temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit out. Um, this will probably be my last geo wrap before we go up to uh, Wawa, Ontario. Uh, of course, I keep saying stuff like that and I keep making them. But um, today I want to talk about stratigraphic columns and geologic maps. Um, I drew this. You actually saw this in a previous uh, geo rant. I used it with the protractor just to show you how we rotate it. But uh, this uh, map I made is actually loosely based. It's a hypothetical map, but it's loosely based off the Presque Isle Syncline along the Presque Isle River in Gogebeck County in the UP. And this is it. Okay, so we have one inch equals 1,000 feet, both on the map and on the uh, stratigraphic column right here. Okay, um, and I'm doing this ramp because people will often see stratigraphic columns here and assume that's how the uh, geologic units are on the ground this flat lying layer cake scenario and uh, I've talked about the layer cake before I mentioned it basically the layer cake idea is the idea that sediments uh, in, you know uh, that sediments are laid down relatively flat with little or no initial dip and in undeformed areas you will get something like that okay but as you can see here this structure my map over here. I have my strikes and dips. It's a river. It's a lake. They go. Uh, they, they dip and they indicate that there's a syncline. So this is not the same as this exactly. Well, so what's the purpose of this then? Well, we usually make stratigraphic columns to give geologists a general idea of what the uh, to look for in the area, okay? Um, so we put them as if they were laid down horizontal, horizontally with no initial dip, just so you can get a relative idea of how they, how to, how you should expect to find them in the field, okay? Um, that doesn't mean they're going to be flat lying like that, okay? Because most beds are not. Um, so, I added colors. Uh, here are my uh, colors uh, on my stratigraphic column are the same as I use for the map. And just for illustration purposes, I made them roughly the same color that they would be. But um, you can't figure out the structural, complex, the geologic structure of an area, the complexity, by the stratigraphic column. That's not... The stratigraphic column, like I said, is a tool. It, 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 it's an aid to help you understand the geology and, and what you could expect to find um, laying out, um, you know, when you go out and actually look at the rocks. And here I had these squiggly lines here. That's a symbol for unconformity. I have a couple in there. Um, but, yeah, that's just my rant for today, and I hope you learned something.